Right. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Very serious. <laughs> I think the thing I find most stressful as a GP and most difficult to deal with from a mental health point of view is pressure on my time. Everybody who comes in from 8.30 till 11 that morning, you will see whether it's 20, 30, 40, 50 people. The working environment is quite highly paced and can get quite hectic and a bit overwhelming at times. My job is now 24-7. When you're running a practice, you're looking after everybody. You're looking after the patients, you're looking after the GPs, you're looking after the staff, absolutely everybody. When I'm sat in front of a patient, I want to be focused on them, I want to listen to them, I want to help them, but I'm conscious that I've got 80 scans and 100 blood results and complaint letters to respond to and boxes to tick. I started to feel very overwhelmed at work. I think it was kicked off initially by just so many changes, so many regulations that we had to meet. Where I get stressed is if we haven't got enough patient slots, so we've got far more patients that are wanting to come in. So many reports we had to write, and then I'm trying to have to sort of squeeze them in, juggle them. Outside institutions that we dealt with. Um, I went through quite a severe period of depression. So I'll get very anxious, I'll start to panic that I can't cope and I'm going to make mistakes. I was waking up in the night, um, also working very long hours. I had to double check, triple check everything I did. Right, so sorry, what was the second Why question? Why is it hard to... to... Yes, okay. Um, it affected my concentration. Um, I felt like I was at risk of making mistakes. And it all began to feel too much for me. I couldn't stop crying and I just thought, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough to do this and I felt that I'd failed. It's strange working in healthcare because we, we deal with patients with work stress, mental health problems, burnout all the time, but we're still rubbish at talking about it and we're still rubbish at saying actually I've gone beyond stress and now my health is suffering. I think it's easier to say something like I'm burnt out. I don't think I thought I wasn't coping actually, I, I think I thought I was busy. I'm here 14 hours a day, I'm physically exhausted. It feels better to them than actually saying actually this is affecting my mental health. There is also that fear that if you talk about mental health problems, uh, that that's somehow going to get into your, uh, your, your health record or, uh, and your professional uh, record as well. You don't want to appear weak or that you might not be able to cope. You sort of want to give that air of I'm in charge and I know what I'm doing. The first thing I was encouraged to do was to talk to my GP and that should always be, for any of us, the first step. I'd been chatting to a patient and after they'd gone um, my colleague was sort of interested in how I knew so much about what I was talking about and it, we just sort of had a chat about what I deal with and my mental health and it just seemed it was a really nice gentle conversation that just seemed perfectly normal to have at that moment in time. As soon as you start talking about it and I started writing about it suddenly I was getting friends coming up to me and strangers emailing me and saying oh god this is describes me, this describes how I feel or how I was feeling. I talk to some patients about my own mental health um, when it's in relation to them. A lot of people who suffer with anxiety uh, will come to the counter. It's so important to be looking after yourself because that's the only way that we're going to do the best for our patients. We can't give out of something that we haven't got there to start with.